welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is deandra in today's video we are going to do a sunday reset going to get the house ready and together for the upcoming week i have a grocery haul for you i'm going to also give you my meal plan what i plan on cooking this week and then um i think we're going to do maybe a little bit of cleaning i think i'm almost positive my fridge needs to be cleaned out and I would do some of that cleaning while I'm putting like the new stuff away. So if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you on my channel. Let's get started. Okay, you guys. So I've got this pineapple juice here and I'll show you what this will go in. I'm actually making a drink recipe for my Just A Little Kick, my cooking channel for um, the Super Bowl. So, and then the shredded lettuce, I'm actually going to be making um, chili cheese nachos and so that's gonna go on there the nachos with this and the sour cream salsa the chili that I'm gonna be making and then um, the you know nacho cheese sauce guacamole all that just like souped up nachos but chili cheese nachos and then butter lettuce this is because I'll be making club sandwiches and this one right here I love the butter lettuce because it's just so I don't know, it just tastes so much better. Like I love this over like any other kind for club sandwiches or just sandwiches in general. This comes out better. And then just some Greek yogurt. I like to make like yogurt parfaits in the morning for my breakfast. And then butter because of course we always need butter. Have you tried these yet? These lightly seasoned chili garlic tortilla chips. Super delicious, very flavorful. And then I also got these like little party size, bite size tortilla chips. This is just gonna go in my chili, ground turkey, and then just some burgers, and then just a little lettuce, and not lettuce, <laughs> just a little tomato and red onion. These both go on the little club sandwiches. And then um, some little party wings, four pound bag, and these will be thrown in the air fryer. So it's kind of, it comes out really good in the air fryer because it's crispy, but you don't have to use a batter, so it's still healthy. Um, so this right here, I'm just gonna cut it up, saute it in the skillet, add your veggies. We'll probably add, or we'll probably, you know, serve it with rice, and then maybe some kind of sauce. We'll see. And then these are really good. I've been really trying to up my water intake, and so these have really helped me. Um, I use, I actually mix these two together and it tastes like cotton candy, so good. Also, are you guys like fans of like the water talk, I quote unquote water talk, where they make all these like crazy delicious water recipes? Um, I just started kind of getting into that, but yeah, you mix one in one and it tastes like cotton candy, so good. And then just some, you know, chili seasoning packets, some jelly. I needed this just because I knew that I was out. And I also needed some um, extra virgin olive oil cooking spray, and then um, ground cumin. I found this online, hot Mexican style chili powder. Oop, and then uh, just some mild salsa. Um, I, I did order um, two jars of mild, but they were out, so they substituted it with the medium, which will be fine. We can all, all the kids and everything, they, they handle, you know, spicy stuff just fine. So for the chili, I just got a few cans of diced tomatoes, and then um, just this can of mushrooms, and then pinto beans, uh, black, I think there's some black beans over here somewhere, and then some great northern beans. Some spaghetti. This is just to have for breakfast one morning. So cinnamon rolls, crescent rolls. I can't even remember what I bought that for, but we'll eat it. And then, so, what I try to do, because I don't want to or have the desire to cook every day, but we still do have home cooked meals, I would say probably six, six days a week, it just kind of depends. I do like to at least give myself a break one day. So what I do, I will make like a large batch of something and then we'll just have leftovers for one day. So the chili, like I said, we'll have like chili cheese nachos and then the next day we'll have chili and then I'll make cornbread, like muffins or I'll make a big pan of it. And then I saw these like super pretzel, Bavarian soft pretzel sticks. I thought that looked pretty good. And I know the kids will like it for like a snack or something. And I got this right here, buttermilk pancakes. 
and then this which they already ate them all they had them this morning for breakfast so those are gone and then i just bought one little thing of mozzarella sticks and then our cheeses we've got some shredded cheese and then sliced cheese over here um baking cocoa i bought this because like i said i'm gonna be filming like a little cooking video for the super bowl and i'm going to be making some chocolate brownies with some super super delicious well chocolate brownies whatever i'm gonna be making some brownies and um also making some super delicious chocolate frosting that goes on top of the brownies so i needed this here for the brownies and then if i can find my um it's a football cookie what do you call it cookie cutter it's a football cookie cutter if i can find it i'll be able to make the brownies into like little footballs and then i thought this would be super cute to draw on like the lines and stuff and then i needed some more powdered sugar and then the seven up and then this one this little polar blast hawaiian punch um this is what so you mix these two together along with the pineapple juice and that's where you, where you get your punch and then finally the breads have you guys had this bread this nature's own thick sliced brioche style oh my gosh this is so so good so good it's soft it's slightly sweet it's super thick like any kind of sandwich even if a regular pb and j if you use this bread i'm telling you it takes it up a notch it is so good and then uh just some hamburger buns for the burgers and then I use Hawaiian rolls. I make like a little garlic butter kind of mixture for the club sandwiches. So that's for that. And then just some freezer bags, this little cookie cutter, a little eyeliner, um, some Old Spice body wash, and then some body wash for the kids. And then before I really need paper towels, I do plan on going to Sam's Club to get like some snacks and fruit and stuff like that for this week. But, and I also needed paper towels, but I was completely out. So I needed to get some just for now. So first thing we're gonna uh, get started on cleaning out the freezer, just rearranging some things so that we can make room to put the groceries away. The ones that do need to go in the freezer. Now we can get started on cleaning out the refrigerator. There was just a lot of like leftovers in here that need to be tossed away. Um, just as you can see, I mean, just a ton of stuff and absolutely zero organization. So um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that you can definitely organize your refrigerator for free without having to spend a lot of money on all the bins and everything. Eventually, I do have a plan to buy like the organizational bins and make it like all aesthetic and pretty but for right now i just wanted to focus on getting it cleaned out because it was actually dirty i needed to use um, some disinfecting wipes and i used the like dawn power wash in here all right let me show you what needs to be cleaned out in here as you can see i've been taking stuff out but all of that back there needs to be cleaned out. I'm sure as I get up here, there's gonna be something that needs to be cleaned out too. I haven't made it up here yet. I went to this one first. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably cut this pepper up and then put it in the freezer bag. And then, trash. Not looking too bad in there or in there i gotta figure out in here though oh, this is, gotta go december 14th frozen personally i feel like condiments can never really look all that nice and i'm not going to take them out of these and put them like in clear pretty jars well I shouldn't say I shouldn't say it never but at this point that's like not on my radar to do what I would like to do eventually is like I said put like the different like fruits in 
you know those clear bins and that kind of stuff but as far as like the condiments and stuff i feel like that is what it is out of these Lysol wipes. I think these ones are like mango something or other. They smell really good. They clean really good. But I used probably this almost whole container today because I also, I'll show you, I deep clean like my garbage cans. I wiped the outside of it. I wiped the inside of where the trash cans are stored. So you'll see that in this video too. So yes, they definitely got some work today. What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show now I'm just organizing this cheese drawer. We've got a ton of cheese. And so I got shredded cheese, sliced cheese, all of that, a few cheese sticks, I think, as well. And then the other side is where I put like lunch meat, turkey pepperoni, turkey bacon, maybe a random something in there. But that's how I organize it. <laughs> I'm just wiping down the fruit bin. I'm just going to wipe it down with the same, you know, disinfecting wipes, and then we're going to put the fruit back in there. Also, when was the last time you deep cleaned your refrigerator? I wouldn't necessarily even call this one a deep clean because I didn't take all the drawers out and you know all of that. I just kind of quickly cleaned it up, but. I will deep clean the refrigerator and the freezer on an upcoming video once I start doing like my I'm going to do a spring cleaning series on my channel um, and I think they'll probably start I don't know towards probably the mid to end of February so stay tuned. reason to why I put things in where I put them as long as they fit and it makes sense and it looks you know organized or in a row or whatever I put all of the you know protein shakes together put all the milks in one area you know what I'm saying just to make sure that it looks cohesive but I mean you can when you organize yours you can put it however you want to just as long as it looks nice and it's clean is the finished product what do you think I think it came out really really nice it looks very clean for the most part very very organized it looks good and I'm happy with it And now I'm just going to clear off the countertop a little bit and then clean off the outside of the refrigerator. And then after that, we're going to clean out 
this cabinet that the garbage cans are housed in. I'm gonna wipe down the outside of the garbage cans and get those clean and yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this Sunday reset. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'd absolutely love to have you. I'll see you back here soon for more videos. Bye.